and welcome back. This is Beller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Beast Mode. Beast Mode is ranked 80th in his Silver Division with 93 points, 6 wins, and 8 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the Northwest up against Beast Mode. He is the Red Terran in the Southeast and the map is Delta Quadrant. So yes, I do finally find a Terran opponent on Delta Quadrant. It has been a long time. And yes, I did play a ranked 80th silver um, opponent immediately after facing a ranked 80th platinum opponent. I, I have no idea what was going on that day. There just must ha have not been that many people online that day because my opponents were all over the map. Um, I believe the highest one that I played was about rank 2 in platinum. I mean, it was just insane. There were some where I was like, holy crap, what the hell just happened? And I looked back and I was like, oh, that guy was ranked number 2 in platinum. And he flat out outclassed me. And then there'd be other ones where I'd be like, what the hell was that? And I'd look and, oh, this guy was barely in silver division. And I clearly outclassed him. Just, it was just a weird day. But, as we can see, we are going for a similar build. It looks like he did put his first supply depot out front and then immediately lowered it. Which is curious because the only reason I can think of to put that supply depot out front like that is to form a block off so then immediately lowering it kind of defeats that whole purpose and he immediately takes one of his scvs off the line to start harassing my scouting scv which as you can see i queue up awesomely uh, as you can see from those two rally points right there uh, that is an awesome scouting job that i do early in the game barracks is almost finished and so the refinery is now late it looks like because I would like it you know just maybe five ten seconds earlier you know not too far behind but just a little bit and here he does finish the block off so I'm forced to just leave that SCV and let him die so he does have two barracks up well one up one on the way second supply depot is up now he did raise the other one so and he is fully blocked off until just then when he lowered the supply depot. I have no idea what he's doing here. It looks like he's scouting. He doesn't know where I am. Um, I went um, immediately across. I was feeling a little bit uh, aggressive that day because I was like, hey, you know, if he goes for the... Um, if, if he's over here, I'm going to go for the mech build, the one rack... The one Rex three factory build that I keep telling you guys about, but I don't, I don't think I've ever done in a game for you guys. Still, to this point, I don't think I've done it once. But since I went over here, and I was able to find it, and I was able to see that he went for a second barracks, it scared me right back into my normal build with the three Rex. Uh, I was. I did not think that I was going to be able to hold off any early aggression from a 2 Rex or even a 3 Rex from him early in the game if I went for the mech build. So I stuck with the 3 Rex, and so I'm looking at it, and I'm going, you know what? I am confident in my 3 Rex. It is what I know best, so it is what I'm going to stick to for this game, and I know that I'll be able to counter his. But his 3 Rex is up before mine, and I drop a scan, so I am going to confirm it. Yes, this is 3 Rex. Uh, no uh, ex no add-on on that third barracks yet. And he is still very far ahead in the supply count here. You know, he's got 35, you know, he's got, well, now just 7. 7 supply to spare. And it looks like he's going to get another 8 before he even gets to 30. So... There we go, he is now 13 behind in supply. Meanwhile, I am just two <laughs> behind, and I have more supply than he does. Uh, don't, don't don't get that supply depot incredibly early, you know, and look, I, I've caught up in supply, but, well, in available supply, and I'm almost 
supply locked. I, you know, I have this build down. I like this build. I go for it constantly. Um, so it's what I I like, and I and I'm very knowledgeable about it. And here he's making another rookie mistake. These three marines cannot attack the debris because of where he placed them, and a mule going down, completely out of position. Um, and then moved back into the mineral line, and a factory is on the way now too. Uh, he's got, he does have a ton of gas, too much gas. I don't know what he plans on doing with all that gas right now. But he does not have the economy right now to support three racks and a factory. Just, just not gonna cut it right now. As you can see, uh, you know, he's only got about 800 coming in, whereas I have 1,000, and I'm still, I wouldn't say struggling, but, you know, I, I'm set on what I got right now. Uh, this is pretty good production for me. And here I'm moving out, and he is forced to take his SCV and Marine back. I assumed that he was going to be going for some kind of bunker here. Uh, but as soon as he saw the army, he ran off, and I moved them down to the Zelnaga Tower. That was what I had originally planned, just moving one marine out uh, to, to see what's going on. And boom, he does have a substantial army here, but mine is larger and upgraded. But yes, yeah, stim pack. These guys do not have stim pack. He does have concussive shells, but that is not going to help him in the overall long term of that battle. And so he has absolutely no army left. He raises the supply depots, so I'm more than willing to take him out. Starting to work on the barracks. Am I going to finish that? Yes! It does look like I do before anything else comes out. He does have a Hellion coming out. I don't know why Hellion. He did have so much gas. I don't know why he didn't immediately spend that on a tank. A tank would do so much better than a Hellion here. Because um, I have so many Marauders left. As if he's getting pulled off the line here, they're going to repair a bunker. So I'm moving them into the corner here. I do have reinforcements here. They need to move in. They are a little bit late. And I attack move instead of going for the SCVs, and instantly he is down to pretty much nothing. He's just mining gas, and he demands a rematch. Uh, that is actually the reason why I showed you this game. Um, if I remember right, and I sure hope I do, because I do watch these videos right before I post them, technically while I'm posting them. Um, I want to show you guys what happened when I tried to set up this rematch, because I'll be honest, it did not work out. Um, mostly because I, I have not created um, a game, a custom game on StarCraft 2 before, so I was unsure how to do it and I made it public and then couldn't figure out how to get the password on there. So instantly uh, somebody else joined in and it instantly went into a game without letting me go, hey, uh, I wanted a password. So yeah, he's like, you make it, you make it, come on, let's go! I demand it! And he never left. I do remember this now. He, abs he he never left. He made me destroy every building while demanding a rematch. I mean, it was huge bad manners from him. But I did say I would do it. So I went to do it. And that was the game. So just, just real quick. A uh, quick recap. Because it was a pretty basic game. Um, I saw that he went to three racks. Uh, and that scared me into a three racks. As you can see, I did get five, um, four and five up. Still, you know, it was, they were late once again. I do need an expansion as well. I would go for this one here because all my armies out here unable to take out the debris. Um, but yeah, it was it was an okay game. But this is part of a story, you guys. So I had to show it. So self in the future. When you're posting this video post the next one. It'll be fun. I am excited about the next one. I hope you guys aren't turned off so much by this game that you miss out the next one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.